Hello everybody, Call Me Rick here, and today I'm joined by Skeppy. Just kidding, it's the event. Alright, common questions I get a lot from my most recent stream online is how do you enter the stream and what tips do you suggest? Uh, this past stream I realized a lot and I decided that I wanted to share my findings with you guys. So for any of you who want to join an event where you earn a thousand dollars and possibly get to talk to skep your bbh then you want to go to pvplands.net and so basically once you join you'll enter here you'll either click on your server selector and click the events through here or you can go to our handy dandy skeppy skin right click it and you see all your events here events are separated into tiers like well, not tears, but their names. Gold, magenta, pearl, sky, emerald, violet, and amber. These are all the event titles. So basically, if you're like talking to someone, you're like, oh, are you in the gold event? Yeah, I'm in the gold event. These are so that the events have titles, but you don't know if it's death parkour. Like the magenta event is next, but the event doesn't even have a name. It's Skeppy's favorite jump. That is because it is not scheduled yet. If an event is not scheduled, then it won't show the name of the event or what time and what date it is. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to do an event. That's just that they you won't know what event you're joining quite yet. I am going to elaborate on this. Magenta is the next event, but you just don't know what the event is yet. Like for me, I entered the gold event. I didn't even know it was death part core until four hours before the event started. If you want to join an event, just like I said before, right click, click on an event. It'll say you've been queued to an event. If you want to leave an event, leave. Wow, please excuse that. Leave queue and you leave the event. An important tip is that I say go th at least three ahead of the current, the latest event. Three ahead, usually events are every other day. For example, if an event was on June 4th, the next event would be on June 6th. So if this event was on June 6th, then this event would be on June 8th, and so on and so forth. That's usually how events are organized. An important thing is, is that a lot of people want to join these events. There's like a thousand people online and they're all in queue trying to join an event. I suggest going into an event in the future. Sky event, there's about 198 people in queue, but you're three blocks ahead and you've got about a week to uh, hopefully get at least 75 down. How the events work is you, um, 150 people uh, go into an event and you compete against 149 people. What you wanna do is you wanna go into, if you're a normal pass, so long as you are 75 and below, that means that you'll get into the event. If you're, if you got a fast pass, and you are 75 and below, you'll get in. So 75 people from normal queue get in, 75 people from fast queue get in the event. That's how it works. If you are in a server, like at least three, uh, at least three above, then you'll be fine as far as joining an event. Like for me, when I was in gold, I waited for nine days to get into the event. When I got in, there were about 200 people I got down to queue number 22 after about nine days. That's a lot of days. I would say your best bet is at least five to seven days. Five days is a bit risky, but seven days is more, uh, more likely. Me waiting nine days was a little... Like, obviously I was playing it safe, but if you're worried about your computer dying all of a sudden, then I suggest doing five days to seven days instead of nine days. All right, on to the next thing. If you do not want to be timed out because of internet connection error, then I suggest following a link in the description. There's a YouTuber named Intact who gives you a tutorial on how to auto reconnect into a server. That is how if you get timed out, then you automatically reconnect back into the server. So you don't have to worry about losing your... If you happen to see 
that you have disconnected and you don't have an auto reconnector, if it happened in the span of five minutes, you can reconnect. There is a grace period. If you disconnect, you have five minutes before you, you, you lose your line in the queue. So that's all of the tips I have as far as joining a Skeppy event. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I will try my best to answer it. I've only done one event, so I might not have all of the answers, but I've done a lot of exploring and I hope this video helped you guys and I hope to maybe see you guys in an event in the future. So anyways, bye guys!